<laughs> Yo, what is up, YouTube? Back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best web browser in 2022. And I'm going to be coming from two options, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. Now, honestly, the other web browsers really don't matter. They don't compare to these two browsers. But I'm going to be simplifying it and telling you which one is better and for what reasons. And I'm going to be showing you the differences. Now, to get things started, I'm going to start in with Google Chrome. One feature I do like about Google Chrome is you can have different accounts. So if somebody else uses your um, Chrome, you can simply have them on the desktop. So you have the icon and you can see whose account is whose. So as you can see, it says guest is SJ Chrome. If I was to do somebody else's, I could do site like um, guest or whatever. So when I double click Chrome, it brings me to who's using Chrome. Now for you, if you just got Chrome, you wouldn't see this. It would just log you immediately. Which is fun for some people who want to get in Chrome quicker without clicking an extra button. But I just find this easier. So if I'm doing something personal or if I'm uploading video or things YouTube related. Now obviously this is YouTube related so I'm going to be going to guess it's SJ. And then when you click it you get a screen like this. Well I know it doesn't seem customized and you can customize yours all you want you see you can see customized chrome and you can add um themes and different colors and pictures and airplanes or stars and moons but to me that is that just slows down your pc i mean if you have a nice pc 18 gigabytes of ram and fast internet speeds to load up a different picture every time you open chrome well that's up to you but honestly when you have a trash pc you learn to work with what you got so i just made it a nice red color I mean, it just makes everything simple, and honestly, it makes Chrome faster than it is when you add a different a bunch of different colors. As you can see at the top, I have my um my favorites. So all of these have as favorited. Now, if you want to favorite something, you can simply just um go over here, and you can go to bookmarks. Um, so yeah, I have tons. You can click here and see all my favorites. It's very customizable and you can see it's complex and sh and packed together so it's not so wide open and broad. You can see the apps option here and it brings you to all the apps they have. So it's very, it's very comfort. It's like, it like, it's not wide open and spaced out so everything is hard to see. If I was to come over here and click these three dots. You can see everything I can do. I can go new tab, new window, new ignito, igni, ign, incognito window. Sorry about that. Um, history, um, downloads, bookmarks, and print, cast, find, more tools, edit, settings, help, and exit. Now, you can see this is like short and it's not real big and it keeps things simple. You can even change your zoom so you can zoom out more if you like it smaller. I mean, you got to have excellent eyes to even see what that says. And you can zoom in more for people with bad eyes that like it like that. Obviously, I like it at 100. That's a good pace. I mean, some would like it at 90 and some would like it at 100 to 10. But more than that, it's just out of, out of the blue. Not even necessary. Um, Like I said, you can go to your downloads and see what you recently downloaded. And it makes it simple. And you can even ha have key binds that make it quicker to go there. Um, The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the settings. I like the settings on Chrome better than I do on, on of course, Microsoft Edge. So you can see you and Google, and you can see my account. Now, this stuff is personal. Obviously, I won't be going on to this. This is just explains all the information about your account. You can go to autofill, and it has the autofill passwords, payment methods, and addresses, and more. Security and privacy. Now, that's, of course, what you want to go on about. Appearance now this is one most of you will probably change. I have mine set to red and I have my font size set to medium I can change it to large if I have very bad eyes or something or you need glasses You can change that you can customize fonts or page zoom like I showed over here You can even show the home button or change the theme like I said if you wanted to do that Obviously, I like mine at a nice red color You can reset it to default and it changes everything back but if you go to a theme, it brings you to the theme web store and you can customize your theme. You can change your search engine. So obviously right now I'm on Google, but you can change it to Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo. And it's very, it's, it's amazing because it has so many options. I mean, if you don't like Google, you can change it to Bing. And DuckDuckGo, people like their privacy. So if you do that, obviously you have more privacy. I just keep mine on Google. 
You can change default browser. You can see mine is Chrome, and I'll get to the reason of that later. And on startup, open a new page, continue where it left off, or open a specific page or set of pages. This just, it just makes things simple. Um, it goes on and on. You can do languages, downloads, accessibility, system, reset, and cleanup, extensions, and about Chrome. Now I have certain, I have ad blocker, Google Docs, vidIQ. Um, I just like Chrome because of the, there's so many options and there's so much you can change and it just makes things simple. And obviously in my case, it's quicker. So I'm just going to open a new tab. Now this is what you'll see. You can customize Chrome at the bottom. You can add a new shortcut. And obviously I just wanted to, if I wanted to search Google, it searches fairly quickly and you get a full list of items. I like Google Chrome, but we're going to move on to the next thing, Microsoft Edge. Now you saw how quick the launch was on Microsoft, I mean on Google Chrome. Now you're going to see how quick the launch is on Microsoft Edge. Now this is Microsoft Edge when you launch up. You can see from the start, this is the reason I don't I prefer not to use Microsoft Edge. You can already tell that there's a background loading in the background. So you see the background. Then you have all these news articles pop up, which honestly just uses a bunch of data. And in my case, I don't have that great of internet, so this just slows down my PC and my data in general. Now, if you have a fast internet and fast PC, you got nothing to worry about. You can use this, and some prefer because you get information here, which you can also do on Chrome. You can set up information, in which mine looks blank, but on yours, you'd get all this just like mine. But I just find the customization a lot better. So, as you can see, if I click these three dots, I mean, before we go there, you can see there's extensions also. You got favorites, collections, and Microsoft rewards. But you can also notice that. There's a lot more options up here, which makes it more packed in, so it looks more like rushed and not more freely spaced out. I mean, you might not get that. You might like it all packed in like that, but honestly, I just like it a, a nice fit. You can also see all my favorites down here are recently recently visited. These are my favorites, though. If I click this bar right here, you can just see a long list. Now, obviously, half of this stuff should be in the settings, which I don't understand why it's here. It honestly just makes it big for no reason. This should all be in the settings. It's too long. You should probably have favorites, collection, history, downloads, apps, extensions, and then you should have setting and all the or and print and all this should be somewhere else. I, I don't understand why they did that. Don't ask me. But you can see it still has a zoom option if you wanted to zoom in and it has a zoom out option. You have favorites, collections, history, downloads. I mean, if you like everything here, you. I mean, that's what would make it better in your opinion. But, like I said, everybody has their own opinion and their own choice. You can go down to settings, and then it brings up your entire Microsoft settings. Now, you see manage account, sync, Microsoft rewards, personal info, passwords, payment info, import browser data, and profile preferences. Now, this is all my profile personal info, so I won't go into getting to all of this. But I will get into appearance. Now you can see that I have everything set to default because I rarely use this one. But you can change it all and customize it all how you like it. And you can remove the themes, I guess. And it's a lot to it. You can see it goes on and on. You can history button, collections button. There's a lot to it and a lot of options. And you can see starting home, you can see when Edge starts, open the new tab. So that's kind of like Chrome. Home button, you can see when you start up, where you will be placed. So right now I have no URL. You can customize your new tab, page layout, and content. So when you first start up, you can see different content. And you can see preload the new tab page for, faster, for a faster experience. Loads the Microsoft new tab page in the background to make it faster. Now notice this. You didn't see that option for Chrome, but you see it for Microsoft Edge. Why would you want something loading in the background to make it faster if your PC isn't that fast? Now obviously if you have a quick PC, like I said, you wouldn't care about this, but just something loading in the background will slow down your PC experience and your gaming experience in general. So let's say you have Microsoft Edge open while you're gaming or playing a nice game that requires a lot of RAM. And you have this open in the background and it's over there using up data to make uh, to load other pages which honestly makes no sense to me you're just picking up data to load up 
more news articles, which I could care less about. I just want to search what I'm searching. Other people may be different. They may open up Microsoft Edge to see the news. I mean, but you have the news channels for that. Um, you got cookies and site permissions, so you can customize all that. You have default browser. Obviously, I don't have this as default. You have family, so let's say you have a family account. You can use kids mode. You have the downloads, the edge bar, languages, printers, system and performance, reset settings, and phone and other settings. Now, if I open a new tab, you can see it's pre-preloaded, like they said, which uses stuff in the background. Uh, search Google. Let's just search Google like I did in the other. You can notice that this one took a little bit longer to search up. I mean, it's a, it's a little difference, but you can tell that it's not as fast. And But you do get a longer list, as you can see. You see, is Google the best? Blah, blah, blah. But in my opinion, when it comes down to it, I believe Chrome is more compact and it's more fast. But everybody has their own opinions. But these are the top two, in my opinion, that everybody uses. I mean, you're either going to use Chrome or you're going to use Edge. I've heard, though, that Edge is more safer and and saves your data more better but honestly i've been fine with chrome i think chrome gives you more ac accessibility to what you use your web for as a microsoft edge blocks everything that you download even files that don't have any viruses in them but hey that's up to you um if you like microsoft edge that you go with that and if you like chrome you go with that but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe.